2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh spoke as they were moved by the Rakakwadash Holy Spirit. Call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutation to the hopeful elect and the one third scattered abroad. Barakatha to the Akim out there pushing his word with truth and in sincerity. Barakatham to the Akwathium out there that is listening in. And the one third true believers of Yahweh by Shimei Arashai. Yahweh being who the word eagerly calls God. Yahweh Shai being who the word eagerly calls Jesus Christ. This is the brother Kasai Gadal out of the prophets of Babylon camp. Here with another quick hit. All right. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up what the definition of interpretation means. The Google definition of interpretation says the action of explaining the meaning of something. So going into the scriptures, it says knowing this first, that no prophecy and that prophecy is including the scriptures. That prophecy is going into prophecy such as. The MOTB, the Karagma, you know, how the uh, Babylon is is um, modern day, modern day America. You know how Babylon will be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Those are all prophecies. Famine of the word, famine, plagues, you know, this juicy juice that 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 sleazy E got. All those are, are, are considered prophecies, but this would be considered the prophecies of the scriptures. That's why it says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture, of the scripture, is of any private interpretation. So you can't put your own meaning onto a scripture. Why? Because each one of these scriptures has a proper breakdown on it. You see, each one of these scriptures that is written in the book of life. The whole, in the Bible has a proper breakdown on it. So that does not mean, okay, yeah, I'm going to just go and I'm going to find a scripture that I don't know the proper breakdown on and try to do a lesson on. No. Why? Because then that means I will be putting my own private interpretation on it. My own what? Explaining the meaning of something. Trying to explain it in my own meaning. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. So no prophecy came by the will of man. So a man just not uh, any prophet of the old time did not just come out and say, oh, you know what? I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to write. I'm going to write a a prophecy that's that I think is going to happen. No, but holy men, men that are separate men of Yahweh, our, he our heavenly father, spoke as they were moved by the Rakakwadash. The Holy Spirit. So Yahweh Bashim Yahashah has to be dealing with you in order for you to get the, the proper breakdown and the understanding of these scriptures. All right. And if Yahweh Bashim Yahashah is not dealing with you, you're going to be out here leading people astray, leading them down to destruction, man. Um, I have a, uh, a another precept. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22. In verse 18, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, going back to 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20, putting your own private interpretation unto a scripture, putting your own meaning, knowing that each one of these scriptures have a proper breakdown to it. The Bible is written in deep, dark parables. You have to be able to decode it. So you can't just pick the Bible up and, and read it and think that you're going to have the proper breakdown of these scriptures. No, it has to be taught to you or it has to come to you by the it has to come to you by Yahweh, man, through Yahweh, through Yahweh, by Shimei Abishai, man. If it, and that's going and that's going into what the scripture that we just read back in first Peter chapter 
1 and verse 21. You see, it did not come. No prophecy came from the will of man. But holy men of Yahweh that were moved by what? The Rekakwadash, man, the Holy Spirit. Reading on, Yahweh shall add, Salakia, if any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. So any plague that is written in this book, it will come unto you. It will come unto you, and that's by doing what? Adding on to the scriptures. So that's why you got to be aware of these false prophets and out here listening to all of these false doctrines out here, man. Because not everybody have it. They may think that Yahweh by Shema is dealing with him. Roughly paraphrasing, like one of the brothers always say, Yahweh by Shema Shah, man, will, will, will have you get this truth and think that he's dealing with you the whole time just to set you up to be destroyed. To understand that you're an Israelite. Get this truth and be destroyed. Why? Because you are not moved by the Rakakwadash. You are still left in that deep darkness, man. Read on, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And that goes into what? That goes in removing you out of the truth, man. Taking you out of this truth, putting you back into that darkness. They set you up to be what? Destroyed, man. To be destroyed. So if you're not following the right doctrine, and if you are following GMS and listening to the GMS brothers, don't go and turn around and start listening to IUCPK, uh, IU, uh, IUIC, uh, HOI, you know, all of these other false doctrines, Sakari, you know, them brothers be going off, man. Yeah, how we ain't dealing with somebody who walk around talking about I got sticks at, I, I got sticks at camp. It's June. Nah, man, we ain't dealing with that, man. We ain't dealing with that. Started from our elders and our apostles of GMS, man, what? They have 144% truth, man, of this doctrine. So if you're going to be listening to the GMS brothers, man, you got to stick with it. Get with one doctrine and stick with it. Beware of these false prophets, man. These false prophets out here going to have you destroyed, man. How you looking crazy, man. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 4. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattered with her words. And that's going into those false doctrines out here, man. That's going into these false doctrines to keep you away from it. Because the only wisdom that you're going to have and gain is by following the proper doctrine. The one that has 144% truth. That has 144% breakdown. The proper breakdown. Read on. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youth a young man void of understanding. So a lot of these jakes out here, man, they be thinking that they that they have the truth. Or a lot of these other camps out here that thinking they have the truth, they are void of understanding. And what does it mean to be void? Canceled. Oh, I want to void that transaction. I want to cancel that transaction. So you're going to end up, they canceling it. Under, they don't have the understanding, man. They don't have the truth. Why? Because they're not moved by the Holy Spirit, man. By the Rakakwadash. You see, reading on, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house in the twilight in the evening, in the in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. Right, man, dealing with these false doctrines, man, you're going to run into the chain of darkness and you're going to be met by what? By misunderstanding, man. Not understanding these scriptures, man. So if a part of a, if you listening to a brother and he sound like he don't have a proper breakdown, but that's because why you jumping from camp to camp, and these women out here, man, especially you few sisters that's listening there, you may want to listen to a GMS brother, and then turn around and oh, I want to go listen to this Jake. He look good, 
And now you you done you done had the true doctrine, and now you going over here to a false doctrine, and now you're gonna be led astray just because this man look good and you like to see him on video. So now you're gonna be trying to go follow him on social media. Nah, man. That's that's gonna put you into destruction, man. That's gonna put you into destruction. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. For many are called into this truth, man. But only a few are chosen. And the ones that's out there, <coughs> Salakia, the ones that's out there on the highways and them hedges, man, that's preaching, the, 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 uh, uh, that's in season, out of season, preaching the doctrine, man, the proper doctrine, the proper breakdown of these scriptures is going to be the ones that are chosen. And that's who? That hope for elect, that 144,000. Them same evil ass Jakes. And spirits that was here on this earth once before around the around the old time in the old times when the prophets was 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 actually following y'all by Shimei Abishad. I was trying to lead other Jakes down for destruction. They here again through how? Through regeneration. So you gotta be aware of these false prophets, man. These false prophets gonna have you out here fucked up, Jake. You better listen, Israel. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 15. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. And what is a raving wolf? Seeking to devour, man. Seeking to devour. And matter of fact, let's go to the blue letter, Matthew chapter 7. Salakio. <clears throat> and verse 15. And we're going to scroll down to what the word raving goes into. Strong's G, 727. Harpox. 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 It says, rap ra rapacious, ravenous, an extortionary, a robber. So like if I butcher that word, rapac rapa ra rapacious, a raving wolf, man, a robber, man. Somebody that's going to what? That's going to take you away, devour you, move you out of the truth. So you got to be aware of these false prophets, man. These false prophets going to have you out here bugged the fuck out, Israel. Have you thinking that the MOTB is something totally different? That the Karagman is, is, is the juicy juice? No, when it tells you in the book of Revelation what the Karagman is, man. We know it. The, 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 from the elders, apostles, on down in GMS, we know it. They know it. So that's what we going to preach. We only going to preach what we know, man. All right. So like you. Last precept. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 21. Seek out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength, but what is commanded thee, think there, think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thy eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and evil suspicions have overthrown their judgment. And that goes back into the first scripture that we brought out in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that there is no, knowing this first, that any prophecy of this book is of any private interpretation, roughly paraphrasing, man. Let's go on back to it. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And we just read in, in the book of Sirach, chapter 3, <clears throat> Salakia, chapter 3 and verse 24, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Why? Because they are up here trying to give you false doctrine, make you putting their own private interpretation on things so they don't understand they can't seem to understand. Seek out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. So if it's not, if you don't understand it, then don't try to break it down. 
If you have not heard it enough for you to be able to break it down, don't break it down. If it doesn't sound right to you, if it's not sitting right with you and your Rakakwadash and your Holy Spirit, don't listen to it, man. Because these false doctrines are just like, I mean, these false prophets are just like the damn deceiver, man. Sleazy E. They going to deceive you. They going to have you led down to for destruction, man. So, uh, hopefully this video was edifying to you. If it was edifying to you, it was edifying to the light. I want to give all praise and glory on the two. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutation to the whole for elect and the one-third out there scattered abroad. Barakathon, Barakathon to the Akwakmium and the Akium out there pushing his word with truth and sincerity. And the sisters, the few sisters that's out there that believe in Yahweh by Shem Shai and that's listening in, man. Until next time I say, Shalom.